some of the wave aim upsets. We had Mateo over Fawn. I believe that was Palutena and Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. We had Hayes over Melly. A little bit closer in terms of seed, but still pretty good. And the big one, first pull of the day, DTP over Smirk in a plus six differential in terms of seeding, mm -hmm. which is incredible. And then DTP then proceeded to win the next match to make it out of pools. Both, I believe, 2-0, right? Smirk, the Shoto player, uh, Sassy Flygon, who he beat to make it out, the best player in upstate New York, the Luigi player, both fantastic wins for the Sora from Philadelphia and New Jersey. That being said, that's wave A. Yep. It's all said and done, folks. And if you just tuned in, now you've got the download. Here, though, this is wave B pool, and we're starting off with just me and Yobi as the players sit down, get ready, and are just about to get into it. Notably, though, never played before. Ooh, interesting matchup. You are able to see it now. You're seeing a second. We got Palutena and Samus, so a little bit of an interesting matchup. Yeah, this is a matchup that I feel pretty saw, go, feel goes pretty decently for Palutena, right? That back air dash attack being invulnerable, give her good tools to swing through things like charge shot, like some of these missiles, as well active hitboxes to cover, gets to juggle Samus really well, do the floatiness, as plus just projectiles to control the pace of the game. However, if Samus gets an advantage state, you can just press it to kingdom come. Yeah, I'm curious if the Yobi is going to be able to just control the neutral right now. Obviously taking a little bit more percentage, just me holding down the neutral center stage, just trying to put on the pressure with the Nair, trying to find any options. Oh, another Nair going to be pushing off stage. Let's see if just me can push this forward. Yeah, it looks for that ledge trap there, tries to hold that outer wall of the platform, right? Control all the space and keep you in the corner. Instead, though, Oh, Yobi able to get back and reset, trying to create space of the own, of his own with those charge shots, but uh, but not able to get too much more. It's just the pressure again back up, hold that at edge in the interior with the bomb, and again you see creating these walls to try and lane Palutena over the open space, trap these landings, and get the juggles. Okay, we see the nair. Let's see if Justmi is going to be able to push this further. Ninety-seven percent, not in a uh, particularly high kill range for Palutena unless you got a nice read. Let's try to add up the damage. Down throw in the back are not going to work out. No up smash going to be coming through. It looks like Yobi's going to be able to get back. Has to try to recover though. It's going to be a little bit tough with Palutena at the ledge. Yeah, and there you see right, Samus getting pushed in the corner, getting called out for trying to hit a B reverse charge shot. And as a result, you know, it's going to be a pressure continued advantage state here though. Yobi gets a charge shot dash back. Well, it doesn't do enough to kill. Now you have to get past the time bomb ledge trap at ledge. And that is where Samus thrives. Doesn't read the roll get up though. Does catch it on reaction. And that's going to be enough. The screw attack taking you off the top and causing just me to spin out here if he's not careful. He has to lock in and stay loaded because Samus with a lead is terrifying. Girl. Yeah, you never want to do that. You had taken so much damage just at the ledge and it just kept mounting and mounting and you'll be able to take a early lead. And now it's supplementing that 30% already online and you barely had taken any damage already on your first stock. Wow, calls out the spot dodge. She gets a grab into the reset extension. The time on to keep it going but just misses that tether grab. Samus it takes so long to come out. I love the attempt to swing for that stock even though you don't find the mark. Keep the pressure on. Try and force that mental boom because the biggest difference in ultimate is the difference between three stocks to one and two stocks to two. Ooh. Just me finding that stock when it matters most means it's just a percent gap instead of being down what feels like an insurmountable lead sometimes. Yeah, but while you have this rage and you're in a good position, so you can try to keep Yobi off the stage as much as possible. Let's see what happens. And they are trying to just get an early combo, but a nice charge shot just for the extra damage. 130% is already mounting. Now we're going to be seeing a lot of kill options, especially at the ledge for Yobi. Yeah, I like the attempt there to try and find that back air, right? Just try and create some special read the cross up, but Just Me has just been so disciplined playing under these platforms, really not wanting to ooh, over commit. Does so the one time, gets grabbed for the trouble. Yobi in turn, so good at trapping these landings, trying to there as well. Doesn't get it, but gets to commit afterwards. Screw attack, frame six, so fast out of shield, Gert. Ooh, solid backer, just getting that decent hit in. You're at 159%, you can use the rage, but an up throw or forward air, at least from center stage, won't be able to get a KO just yet, but the damage is mounting. You're going to be getting KO'd for almost every single attack right now. We see the up tilt actually get the bounce off the stage, going to be taking that stock, just me down to one. Yes, sir, those up tilts, down tilts from Sammy's great timing mix ups, great kill power, and great tools to just control space. There's a drag down there attempt, but Samus floaty with some great DI, able to pop on out. And now Samus gets to refresh those time bomb stalls, find her way back to stage, and reset to neutral. Oh, this is huge. If you can just get away, and now Yobi just, again, tacking on this extra credit, holding on to this extra stock, and the more you can find here, the better. 
Oh, the down throw off the platform. Oh, there was no true follow up there for the Palutena. And we do see an up special coming out from the Samus. Trying to get the extra damage, an up air, trying to get the aggressive attack from Just Me. Just trying to find this opening. We see the ledge pressure again, the charge shot. It's not fully charged. We see another one. It's probably only going to get a smaller hit. Not going to work out that time. 100% for both players. Dude, trying to go for the grab and miss it, but gets the up smash when it matters most. Just Me's found a chance, but can you capitalize? Now trying to find a way in. Not able to find a parry, getting pushed off stage. Going to have to expend a jump here to get past these time bombs. Great teleport to ledge. Isn't able to find the two frame with the bomb. So once again, gets back up the spot dodge. Again, the pressure, the juggle, and this percent is racking up, Gert. There was such good patience from Just Me. Just understanding, I have to hold down my defense, and I get out, got to attack at the right time. Able to get 44% from the ledge, and now is trying to make this combat. You still have a decent amount of percent. You need at least, I would say, another 60 on Yobi if you want to get in a nice kill range at 130. You've got to be careful. You, you absolutely do in an ideal situation. But remember, if you can, you can find the edge guard if you just get the hit. Speaking of hits, though, it's going to be... The Yobi with the read on the backer, that was incredibly smart. Recognizing that the core win condition for both players throughout the set was holding that interior edge on the wall. And I want to talk about it here. here. You see the jump, you see the mix up, and watch watch where Air, Air Yobi is. Holding the interior ledge, even though there's a defensive position on shield, Palutena committing here to the dash. Ash can threaten with a back air, but it's still pressured behind. Yobi's holding stage control. Oh, jumps back. Now Palu's committed. She either has to approach in or go to platform here. Here, right? So she's locked in. Four frames of landing lag. One, two, three, four. She has to either jump or drop down. If you're Yobi, since you time bomb stalled, you still have a double jump. So a jump, you get a jump back here. And you literally just get a react, whether you fast fall, all to trap the landing. Again, another four frames of lag where you're not reactable. And the plat drop frames. I believe that's six frames where you are inactionable. So a total of 10 in that short space to just get hit. Or you jump and get called out, get reacted to for it. So it's a great checkmate situation that all starts from just holding shield on platform on that interior edge, setting up that wall all, all between of yourself and your shield between your opponent and center stage. Okay. Game number two, game advantage in favor of Yobi, and we're going to be seeing the Hollow Bastion pick for Just Me, deciding to go to a smaller stage, trying to get that single platform and sending in the double. Yeah, that center plat is so useful. It homogenizes descent routes out. It allows Palutena to find these huge juggle extensions, plus the near platform extensions, right? She gets to reset much more consistently. However, Samus also has those juggles, and when she can set up under the plat, she can set up a time bomb to build a wall, get her little lean to you situated, and just shoot these horizontal projectiles between the missile and the charge shot out all day, every day. Oh, good job from Just Me, baiting the up special, getting a decent hit in, trying to push the advantage state, but just decides to reset back to neutral. I love these fadebacks. Just staying away from Yobi's forward airs has been such a key position in this matchup. Yeah, and Just Me is doing so much better here. Finds a jab, the Chag special. We don't really see a lot of Palutena's go over that. And the drag down, unfortunate pop out. You you trade, but at the worst possible moment. And that just sends you down to the depths. Yobi there had the right idea, but just the miss, unfortunate execution. And now going to be down a stock. Gets a ledge trap. Still holding on ledge too long. Oh. And another mishap from both players now means this game is right back to even. Yeah, it's only been a minute. And we've already seen a lot of scrapping, but both players unfortunately taking the worst stock possible on the first one. So let's see what happens in this one. We see an early up trying to get the push away onto Just Me, but early damage is racking up. And it looks like Just Me is trying to take ahead. Yeah, tries to find like, lo what looked like a an auto reticle there on the turnaround, just didn't get the turnaround, and as a result, gonna get put in the corner, now in disadvantage, has to go to ledge against Samus. Gerd, you never wanna be here, does avoid the charge shot. I like the F tilt, or the up tilt there to try and hit ledge, but it just missed space, and as a result, now, Just Me is gonna get to work Yobi back to the corner, and now it's their turn. Just Me is just playing really patient, not going for such committal answers, just trying to see what Yobi's doing, working with. You don't wanna be too aggressive, otherwise you're gonna get punished by Yobi. Yep, and I like that there, right? Once again, that fadeback you were talking about earlier from Yobi coming out here. You're drifting it back again, playing very defensive around shield. That charge reverse first didn't work last time, but it does in game number two. So now again, pressuring you to the corner, getting you trapped underneath. You can't jump there. It's a disastrous situation against Samus. Dash Duck's not going to kill, but you're between a rock and a hard place right now, and these time bombs are going to keep raining from the skies. And look at the pressure with the charge shot. You don't know when it's going to be popping, so you always got to be holding that shield just in case. But if you do hold that shield, you might get the grab. Let's see what Just Me's trying to do here. 72% does go into the explosive flame. We're trying to catch it with the up air. Not just yet. Tries to read the roll. Our air dodge, should I say, and doesn't work out that time. Yeah, Samus' floating is absolutely helped there because if you're not that floaty, you 
you get caught in your landing lag, and then Samus gets to trap you out there. Instead, it's going to be Yobi getting to survive, continue the advantage state here in the reset to neutral because you have charge mm -hmm. shot, shot, your burst range so much bigger, and we see it take the stock there. It's all about the extra credit, though, because if you DI in, down throw back here, the day one classic, going to wrap it up, and neither player able to cement the lead here. It is integral for just me to force the 1-1 one -one here, because otherwise, the set's just over. Oh, the charge shot did so much damage and following up with the grab with the tether. 56% already online, and now you have Just Me in the worst possible position at the ledge. Obviously, Just Me hasn't been taking too much pressure at the ledge, but you don't want to be there anyway, especially when you're already down a game in this set, and it's only best of three ritual. This is a situation where Just Me has to find a way to get back into this game. I love the idea to go for back air dash grab, but doesn't make the 50-50. However, the down air is going to get you popped up and started trying to end it all, but in instead of the juggle attempt, and at 55, I get it, you're down, you're desperate, but maybe the extra percent would have made a difference. However, while all the advantage state keeps going, you're not punished for your decision making. And Gerd, this is ju just me's chance. Oh, the up air. No, it's not strong enough. 127% does have the charge shot. Not going to do anything. Doesn't go for a forward tilt. Just opts to set up the bombs at the ledge. Another charge shot. Only going to be half. Tries to go for the nair. No, nothing working out right there. But the forward air might be able to do yeah, it. Calls out, calls out the jump, but having one more chance. Burn the air dodge, though, if you notice. So has to just recover back hard, hardcore style. Oh, the time bomb, though, too far away. The up air, but the air dodge finds a way out. Same as it's floating this once again. But it's going to be the last possible moment. Gets caught in special fall. Misses ledge. You saw that slight drift. Tried to slide, like, land on ledge and then let the momentum carry you off so that you're actionable again. Like, cancel that end leg instead. That was you crazy. The end, and it's going to put you in special fall. We're going to see it here, Gerd, in just a second. This whole scramble was absurd. Down air tries to pop you up, just literally pixels off from hitting. That I was so could, close. I wish we could zoom that in, dude. Yeah, and you obviously see right there, you see Yobi trying to go for a rea not a, I wouldn't say a reaction, but maybe a panic up special. You're at 162%. You could honestly get the KO even from this higher platform, but unfortunately, it doesn't work out. We're going to watch this replay a little bit more. Just me is not taking any yep. aggressive position. You and don't have to go for anything route. crazy. He's trying to go here. He's trying to drift this way so that when he lands, right, he clips the edge of the platform and falls off, and you see aiming back for it, but just barely misses. Mm -hmm. It's overshot, overcommitted a little too soon because you have to keep that momentum. If you just fall straight down, you're just going to land in the corner, get caught in landing lag, and killed anyways. You have to slide off. But he committed too soon, missed by the slimmest of margins, and in those that landing lag, right? One, two, three, four. He's yep. just actionable, but it was already called out. It was already too late. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. It's a it is a mix up. If you were able to land on a platform, you can still go for the up smash from Palutena. It's strong enough to be able to kill in that situation. Okay. But the only thing is, you also have to recognize you're gonna get up aired. It might honestly kill with especially with 162 percent rage. Even on Samus at a higher position, you might just die to that. Yep, and I think that is part of why you saw so much panic coming out mm. there from Yobi. Now though, Just Me gonna swap over the Mario for Game 3 here on Pokemon Stadium 2, and this super wide stage, 186 units, means that Samus might try to slow the game down with some more zoning compared to her scrapping, her anti-airing capabilities. Mario, on the other hand, gonna try to use Fireball Flood to disrupt that slower game plan from Samus and use these great platforms, these great ledges, is and the space to find the combos because you know this stage is a Mario's playground. Yeah, I love that Just Me is just playing it patient, trying to use the fireball to just get that small damage in, but also trying to force Yobi to respect the area in which it's trying to attack in. Okay, I love this one, two, just right, keep the stage pressure, push Mario horizontally. Don't give him the room to move to mash these fast buttons. Keep him locked down in the corner where Samus thrives. Because once he gets to th start throwing that cape, fireballs with impunity, and counter pressure you, that's where you get pushed to these platforms, and that's where you have to be careful. One air dodge read, it's gone now. Doesn't go over the forward air, didn't quite have the drift he wanted, but again, the flood just slows things down. This one is starting to get out of hand. Yobi feels like he's just getting run over at times. Let's see what happens. We do see a nice grab from Yobi uh, getting that extra damage. And, oh, I love the cape. Just trying to send it out if you were going to see the charge shot. It honestly might have gotten the KO, especially at half. So let's see if Just Me is able to do anything. Obviously, a small small lead, but no lead is safe, especially against Samus. Could have gone for the up air platform reset there, but instead, at 121, says, you know what? Instead, I'm going to try to call out an air dodge read. Yobi, though, playing it patient, going to live to see another day. I like this holding center stage, running across the open space, using this high platform um, <laughs> against Mario to force awkward situations. Just Me gets caught in an awkward spot dodge and gets called out for the stock. Yobi reeled that one back and now has the slightest of leads. But Gert, Just Me's one hit away from evening this up. Yeah, 139% is a lot of percent, even on Samus as a heavier character. You can see an up smash right there at a shield. 
good reaction. You saw the side special from Yobi. It has too much end lag. Up smash is going to be the perfect target right there. And listen, you're just like you do, just me using the noggin there to find that stock. Up, not trying, able to call out the charge shot that time though, so gonna eat 25, but not able to find it, and tries to get the, the reverse into the grab. Great idea, however, that time bomb into the foot soul, not gonna find it either. These extensions left, right, and suddenly he has the ideas this could be a forwarder if he's not careful, and suddenly up special, but the DI is on point, so Yobi gonna live another day. Yeah, even if you don't get the KO, 83% just off of one down throw off the platform, that's exceptional damage. You can see another potential down air here. Doesn't get the connection, but you do force Yobi off stage with a Trump. I was gonna say the frame trap there too, where you saw that down air. If you DI in, okay, you'll miss. I still have enough time to find the after effect. I already had a time bomb go out in the air, so you only get one instead of the standard two to stall. And instead of swinging for the tether, you're just too low. And so losing the stock early, Yobi maybe again, right, just feels like he's getting outpaced and neutral. Even if you reflect these missiles before the charge shots, because if the missile hits, it combos into it. On the flip side, it just blocks it. So Yobi has not been able to control this horizontal space at all so far, Bird. Yeah, and despite Yobi having an early 3-2 to two lead, getting that forward smash on the left side of Pokemon Stadium 2, just me holding on to the second stock as much as possible. Dash attack, not going to be able to do anything right here. We set up the ledge trap, but against Mario, it might not work out too well. Hasn't gotten a big situation to get a big KO just yet. And Yobi, you see, starting to swing, like these dash attacks, these F tilts, these F smashes, just trying to throw anything to dislodge this stock, realizing that the more chip damage, oh no, I'm at 50. I'm one interaction away from death against this, ma this near max rage Mario. However, you get him off corner. Charge shot, though, is going to lead to a combo again against you, and now you gotta be careful because this one is nearing its close. 92%, that's not where you wanna be, especially like you said with the Max Rage Mario, it's pretty much now online, but the down tilt covering for the cape that Mario was trying to land on, trying to see if there was gonna be a projectile, no, just me, now having to deal with this pressure, the down throw into the forward air, 41%, you're stuck at the oh. lane, trying to go for an aerial down here, not gonna work out. Wow, barely finding the way back on the reversal there, Ergert, and this pressure, this scramble is so much. We've seen in Just Me try to call it these air dodges that were a bad habit from Yobi early on the set, but he's adjusted, now playing so much more patient, realizing he's locked in, realizing this is the make or break moment of these set for both players. Ooh. The lead is slight, but now non-existent. Stage control says that this is now Yobi's game to lose, at least for the moment. The invulnerability is gone. He has to get up, finds the fireball, the pivot up smash, but doesn't land its mark. So again, the reset, one over aggressive charge out the almost it, and now how do you find your way back? Down. That was so crazy. The charge shot into the up smash doesn't get the KO for throw. Not going to be a kill throw, at least at this lower percentage. Obviously, I say lower, but it's already at 150. Charge shot does hit through the shield. Mini charge shot, not going to work out up air. Still not going to be able to do anything just right now. Trying to go for a Hailmaker forward air, but the, the Fledge is trying to push him away? Yeah, just reset, create some space, slow it down, say, okay, I almost got blown up for that scramble. But as a result, like, this is in this final moment. One hit could kill either of these, especially at ledge. You have to reset, you have to find your way back up. That covers almost every option. Do it all again, where do you go now? We might see a jump, a neutral get up. No, and he's ready for it with the charge shot. Samus gets to cover that on reaction. Mm -hmm. You saw setting up the bowl. Bowl, you, when you place that time bomb there, right? It covers neutral get up, it covers get up attack. Mm -hmm. If you roll, you roll into charge shot. If you don't roll, oh, the only other option you have available is jump. Yep. And if you jump there, Samus gets to forward air you, or even back air you, maybe even neutral air on reaction. And, or just screw attack, right? Whatever she wants from that spacing. You, as we saw, right? There's nothing else to do other than drop off, maybe try and cape stall and reset your scenario. But when you do that, you're still stuck in the same situation because Samus just gets to reset up the trap. Yeah, and there's a charge shot 